This is how to add a CNAME record and Hostinger. Hi guys, in this video, I am going to show you how you can add a CNAME record and Hostinger and explain to you briefly why you may need to. So let's get started. First off, a canonical name or CNAME record points a domain name to an alias. So say I have a subdomain, nikki.myfirstwebsite.com and I want that subdomain to point to myfirstwebsite.com. In order to do this, I would need to add a CNAME record that points that subdomain to the other domain. For this to happen, I will need to add a CNAME record. It is super easy. Here's how you can do it in Hostinger. When you log on to Hostinger, you want to scroll down where it says domain. Now click on domain portfolio. And once you're on your domain portfolio, you can scroll down until you see the domain that you want to add the CNAME for. I am going to use a domain name that I already have right here. I am going to choose the first domain name that I see here. Now, once you find a domain name, you can click on manage. Once you click on manage, you'll be redirected it to this page. Now you can go ahead and click on DNS slash name servers. And here's where you can manage your DNS records and add your CNAME record. So right here where it says manage DNS records, where it says type, you can go ahead and click on CNAME and fill in the name, the target and the TTL. And once that's done, you can go ahead and click on add record. And this will save your CNAME record in your DNS. If you scroll down, you can see that I already have a CNAME for how I'd build my website.com and that points to connect.hostinger.com because I am serving my website on Hostinger. And as always, if you've made a change and your website is not working the way that you want it to, you can go ahead and scroll down and click on reset DNS records. This resets all the existing DNS records for that specific domain name to default so that it can get to working as it did before. And that's how easy it is to add a CNAME record and Hostinger. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you want to build your own website, we have provided a link down below where we can help you. We have also provided a link to Hostinger if you want to get started with that. And you can also get a really great discount. If you click on any of the links down below, it will greatly help support our channel so we can make more free videos like this in the future. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video.